Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 139. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are now onto the Class F Speedway Challenge. We're going to be doing a couple of Speedway Challenges per episode. Um, I'm going to try and get all these Speedway Challenges done in today's stream. And then half of these shootouts... I'm hoping that'll be enough videos. Uh, that should be about eight. But that might be nine. So, uh, I'll see how long these take when I'm editing them. I might only put two in. I might put two and then three and then two and then three. I don't know how I'm going to structure the videos yet for this. So, we're going to see though. We got uh, seven laps of the Twin Ring Mategi Speedway. Then uh, Sedona Raceway. And then Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. This is good. I like it. Oh, I got... Do you know, the one thing that I've been enjoying since I've moved... This, this is good. I like this. Um, the one thing that I've been... Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't upgrade the car, I don't think. I think I'm in a stock car. Oh, to be fair, it's quite high up in the performance ratings anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> that's as hard as it gets. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I've forgotten what I'm saying. Not what I'm saying. Bastard. This was probably a bad idea, taking the Alpha. No, don't come in my line! That's what she said. <laughs> oh no. That's so bad. That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> I think that's one of the worst that's what she said I've ever done. <laughs> Fuck. I, I'm so embarrassed by that. It's <laughs> so bad. Like, that's not even like a... Oh, that's what she said. That was like literally what she said. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I love it. Just gave me a game worth £38 full price. Enjoy. <laughs> like I said There's some good ones and there's some not so good ones Take them in your Steam library Enjoy it When ADHD kicks in yo Give me that slipstream motherfuckers um, I've got a couple of songs by Friction, so I believe so. I do have a couple of songs uh, by Friction in here. I haven't listened to Friction's new album. I've got it saved on my thingy, but I just haven't got around to listening to it. Yeah, it probably will be. Um, one of my favourite songs from Friction is um, Back to Your Roots. I don't know if you've heard of it. But there's like an old version and a new version, like a 2021 version. I love both of the songs. Oh, this is another good one. How is the music, by the way? Is it too loud, too quiet? Because um, people keep saying, oh, the music's too loud. And some people say, music's too quiet. How is the music? Does it need turning up? Does it need turning down? Let me know, chat. By the way, this is the best stream we've had for two, three weeks now, which is awesome. Music up like 7%. I mean, that's not really how it works for OBS, but sure, I'll try.
I mean, the music used to be here when everyone said it's too loud. So, <laughs> you figure it out. <laughs> uh, I hope so. It's good in the menus, but the car drowns it out when you're playing. Fair enough. Well, to be fair, it needs to be louder then. Run away by the sirens. Go get fucked up on an island. Need to dance with my demons. Just stream and do all the work. See, I will agree. Like, streaming isn't easy. There is stuff you have to do. You have to work for it. But, a lot of viewers expect streamers to do all the work. And that's not true. No successful streamer has ever gotten successful without chat. Let's be honest. Chat is what makes the community and what makes, you know, the stream good. So, I'd say it's 80% responsibility on the streamer, definitely. But there has to be some sort of work done by the community as well. Yeah, famous YouTubers have editors. I would love to have an editor because the amount of fucking work I put in to edit thumbnails, get it all done, stream, record. Oh, so much. It's unreal. Go get fucked up on an island. Need to dance with my demons. The community is the stream. Yeah, technically. Uh, also, I'll check 15 songs. Fucking hell. I'll uh, check five of them while we're loading the next one. Or I'll check as many as I can. Give me the beach and the sunshine. Yeah, I'm on a mission. Trying to get it all out of my system. Do do. This song is awesome when you've got a bass boosted speaker. Because it's just... Such a tune. May have slid some Eminem in there. Eminem's fucking sick. I used to not be into that kind of stuff, but now I just vibe. Like, my music playlist is just, if it vibes, it vibes. I'll listen to it. I very much was like, uh, it's not drum and bass, or it's not dubstep, or it's not rock music. I can't listen to it. Now it's like, fucking, I will listen to whatever. <laughs> like, I'll listen to whatever. Fucking slaps to Eminem, slaps some Joyner Lucas on, slaps some fucking whatever. If it vibes, it fucking vibes. Let's go. <laughs> Man's got himself banned. No, Manky G Tour is the original one. Mackie G Tour. That is the fucking song. <laughs> Tour is the one. <laughs> what are you to have? That's the meme one. That's the meme song. I listen to drum and bass. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the first time we've gone around um, Sedona and it's not gone off. And Pendulum is sick. If anyone disagrees with Pendulum... Zeno, get the fuck out. Don't be lying. <laughs> Exclamation mark ban. <laughs> Don't be lying. You love Pendulum. Uh, I'll be honest, Crush is my favourite. But, like, any Pendulum song fucking slaps. You can't say any Pendulum song is shit. There isn't a song that is shit. Except maybe that one that's the introduction before Slam hits. Because that's just, like, some dumbass chatting thing that's not an actual song. Crush is a banger, though. I've heard one song from Darkseid, and that's the one that's got example on it. I'm really into listening to, um... Uh, I think it's Bo. Boa? Yeah, Drops, that's it. We're like, what the fuck have you started? Just to flex on you. Rari, rari, shoo. Because I'm mad for you. 
Never do. Whip it up, all these rocks on my wrist. Bring it back up, up, because it's lit. Keep it cool. I don't know. You and I with a uh, simula. That's a good one. Oh my god. I have very good knowledge of drum and bass artists, apparently. <laughs> Bring it back up, up, because it's lit. Bow, bow. Vibe chemistry. Someone says. Hey. Honestly, drum and bass is the one thing that got me through college, I'll be totally honest. But, like, I proper got into drum and bass lately. And especially when I started, like, streaming. Drum and bass and racing music is literally the perfect combination. That's why a lot of... A lot of racing games have drum and bass and rock music as their soundtracks. Because it just goes well. Need for Speed, I don't understand why they've gone for, like, the rap music. Because it doesn't suit racing it's a really weird thing um and yeah it, it doesn't work as well cut rum and bass i think that was a good one actually what was it I, I need to find the song there's one by um Come on, we got this. Come on, little alpha. Get off the wall. Are oh, you asshole? Asshole, asshole. Base father. God, you like Gaza. Don't wear Gucci. Don't wear Prada. Tits. Hits. Hits, hits, hits. Ah, come on. Yes, tits, tits. Give me the slipstream. Hat, you use the brakes. You've just messed up. Know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, fuck yeah, right on the final corner. Biddies for titties, let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, I got that one. I'll be totally honest, right? I think video game developers need to stop making their games last longer, right? I, I love DLC as much as the next person, but I would much rather if they made... If Assassin's Creed came out every two years, and it was a big game, and there was no DLC, I'd prefer that over Assassin's Creed coming out every three years, them doing DLCs for a year, but extending the life of that one game for longer than it needs to. It's the same with GTA. Like, I I would love... Like, I, I, I'm not opposed to extra content for if... You buy a game that you really enjoy. Okay, I can get more time out of this. That's fine. But I would much prefer GTA 5, 2013. GTA 6, 2014. GTA 7, 2015. You know, the time that they need for development is obviously necessary. But don't keep bringing shit out for a game that's like almost 10 years old. Sure, people are playing it. But also, people want a new fucking game. Oh, so annoying. I want a new GTA. Give me the new GTA. Please. I want a new GTA. Let me have it. No. If it's on sale for like 30 quid, maybe. But full price, no. How much is it on Steam at the moment? You might be better off getting FH4, to be honest. Horizon 4 is really good. Yeah. I mean, Forza itself, the, especially the Horizon games, you you need to get with the DLC. 
um, because it's just got a good, um, like, the extra content that comes with it is good. Yeah, 4 is more because they were testing around with it on Steam. Because it was... Horizon 4 was pretty much the first game they brought on Steam for ages. So it just made sense for them to put it at, you know, a normal price. And then they realized, actually, no, we can sell it for cheaper than what we sell it on thingy. And it's still pretty decent. So they sold it for Horizon 5 for less. I'm surprised they didn't bring the price of Horizon 4 down, though. But, yeah, I do think... Um, how the fuck is the red car in front of the blue one now? I've literally redone this race just because that car was being a bitch. You're a bitch. Black Ops 2, a fucking decade-old game for 40 quid. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, Steam's got a good sale for the Assassin's Creed games at the moment. I bought Valhalla. It was 40 quid for the whole game and DLC. So that's like 140 hours of content. So I've, I've got no problem paying 40 quid for a game that's got that much content. Oh, and Ubisoft are bringing games out on Steam now. They're finally bringing them out on Steam. I will judge you harshly. I'm going to say one thing and I need your reaction. Juice 2. I've played it. I didn't have a bad experience with it. I haven't finished it. But it's, it's, it's an alright game. It's definitely a lot better than the first one. Million times. But, yeah, I think it's okay. It's Finity. Infinity. That shit was Beyond Elite. When did it come out? Because if it came out after 2010, it wasn't Beyond Elite. There were games like Test Drive Unlimited 2 that was... Okay, yeah, 2007. Fair enough. That's that's pretty decent. Then. Is Need for Speed Heat £3 at the moment? Are they doing it again? Is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, by the way, while I've been streaming, I have been downloading Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, I obviously have, like, the bandwidth of my hard drive that I can actually download Valhalla and record videos. Because I'm recording at really fucking high quality. Um... Need for Speed Heat 50 right now. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, they did a sale for Need for Speed Heat where it was 95% off and it was three quid for the fully kitted out one before Unbound came out. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, they, they, it literally went down to three pound. That's why I was wondering if they were doing it again because Need for Speed Heat for three pound is worth every penny. It's worth double, triple that to be fair because it is a decent game. It just doesn't have a lot of content. Yeah, if you're talking EA Play but you don't own it, like we, it went to three pound to buy f to own on Steam, ninety five percent off. It was unreal. I bought it and I have EA Play, but I bought it just so that I could say like I bought it, I own it, I've got the extra content because I had the standard edition with EA Play. So really, I spent three quid on DLC, but if I finish paying for EA Play, which to be fair. I now own all the racing games on EA Play. I'd probably just buy a month of EA Play when a new one's coming out, try it out, and then just cancel my subscription now. Because I am at the point, I don't really need to pay for it. Like, Battlefield 2042, or whatever it is, is fucking trash. Like, I honestly, I thought people were just, like, over-exaggerating. I played it, and I've played games... On Roblox that were better than that when I was a kid. Like when I was like 8 or 9. I've played first person shooters that were better. Than Battlefield 2042. It's unreal. Like it, it genuinely felt like. It had been made on Roblox. It was unreal. 
yes, I played Roblox. I played it as a child, though. Because it's a child's game. <laughs> Not a fucking adult's game. BeamNG on wheel is fucking mental. I will be totally honest. BeamNG with a wheel. It, it's difficult. Because it's a difficult game to get used to the handling model. But, ah, oh, it's so fun. So fun. Alright, I'll take my bonus rewards. And we're going to move on to the Class E Speedway Challenge. Next. <laughs> Next. Alright, so we're going to now go on to uh, Class E Speedway Challenge. Starting off with Sedona Raceway, Twin Ring, and then Sunset Peninsula. Let's go. It sucks, but... Companies get greedy and they fuck shit up all the time. You say you love me. I got a bar of chocolate here, right by my desk, because I'm fat. Ha <laughs> ha. Ran out of license in time. But what is slightly confusing is Project Cars 1 got delisted after Project Cars 2. So the licenses ran out for Project Cars 1 after Project Cars 2. And rather, rather than saying, hmm, let's extend Project Cars 2 by a couple more years, they just delisted 2 and then delisted 1. So the one thing I have, I'm, I'm going completely off topic now. The one thing I have enjoyed um, since moving out to Cardiff is the fact that I've sort of have to have a little less reliance on other people. Um, so, because I wasn't allowed to cook my own food. I know this sounds weird. I wasn't allowed to cook my own food, not because they didn't trust me cooking, but because they didn't want to use the oven to cook two meals and shit like that. Like, so I always ended up with shit food. Now that I'm having to cook for myself, I don't have to rely. I can cook my own meals. I've been cooking some, like, pretty nice stuff. Tonight, I'm cooking Korean beef. It's basically just beef with some... Korean style sauce in it. You want to serve it with a bit of rice. And then. I don't know. I haven't decided yet whether I'm just going to do that. Or make them into like. Wraps or something. So they're just easier to eat. Not that it's easier to eat. Like I struggle to eat. Like fucking off a plate. But it just means while I'm like. Editing stuff. I can sit at my desk and like. Just eat it. <laughs> I just bit my tongue. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> it's like half two. I was like, what fucking time is it? I looked out the window. <laughs> Ah, fair enough. How much? I think it was like 30 quid. I saw Project Cars 3 it was like 30 quid on Ennibar. Which is cheaper than what it is on X Xbox, but still. By the way, do you think we can actually destroy the simp boss today, chat? The simp boss is at like 4,000 HP. Oh no! No! Ah! Oh. 
I didn't see it. Oh, which one was it? I know one of them was called Edgar and then the other one as well. I can't remember. Good morning, guys. I'm looking for someone to drive a combi in Falls while I do some drone footage. A mini movie for a couple of... Across America. Is anyone has it available, just send me your Discord, Nick, and tag. Um, If we can not promote straight away in chat but um yeah feel free to join my discord server we'll give you a hand <laughs> I'm probably gonna just click on Twitter and it's gonna be like trending. I'm trying to do this multitasking. Oh shit, that was the end of the race. Nice. Love Ledger Blair. Alright, let's go. Mm hmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, this is fucking good. Here we go. Hey, girls. Hey, boys. Superstar DJs. Here we go. Superstar DJs. Here we go. For a pug, for any dog to hit above the age of 15 is quite impressive. Because dogs are supposed to last. La I say last as if they expire. They're supposed to live. Till about the age of like... I don't think they live like two years. I think they live about eight. But dogs are like supposed to live like 10 to 15 years, somewhere around there. Cats are fairly similar. They're like 10 to 15 years as well. Yeah, pug pugs are a nasty breed. I don't think they're beautiful looking dogs. I think they're quite ugh. And also because of the way they're bred as well. Like they're bred with horrible noses that just... <laughs> means they just have really I think baby ones look cute but when they get old they just look weird <clears throat> yeah like their nose it's it's all squashed in and it's it's horrible <laughs> Bro ran into a wall at 40 miles an hour. Fuck. Ow. Just thinking of that hurts. Poor bastard. I'll do uh, two games after this uh, championship. Give away two of them. Here we go. It's cross-platform now, though. But, yeah, I've got it on PC. I got it on PC, which means I can play it on the Steam Deck, which is, like, the coolest fucking thing ever. Honestly, right, the Steam Deck is a powerful PC, but it's not anything spectacular. Like, 
even some PCs, like, it's probably on level to, like, I mean, some PCs that have, like, a 10, like, yours probably would destroy what the Steam Deck can do. But, the thing is, on, um, I'm shit at tandems, I'll be totally honest. I'm, I'm terrible at drifting, terrible at tandems, just never got round to practicing and getting the hang of it. Um, but yeah, that Steam Deck, like, I, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, really fucking enjoy it. I prefer it on, like, I think it looks so much better on PC, it looks awesome on PC. Obviously. Like, on the actual computer. Runs at 60 FPS, no problem, looks beautiful. But the problem I have, is I just find the convenience factor of having a Steam Deck, sitting down and just... Yeah. Like, even when I'm led in bed, and I'm on... My PC is, like, right there. I can load up my PC. Just being able to roll over and just chill. It's just so much better. And the fact as well, you can dock it. So what I've, what I've done... So I've got up here is my PC. This is where the good monitor and all that is. I then can have the Steam Deck for portable, so when I'm out and about, if I'm, you know, downstairs, I don't know, taking a shit. <laughs> it was a bad example, but yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm downstairs doing stuff, sitting down, but then if I'm on the couch with the TV, I can dock it and then play my PC games downstairs. I'm tempted to set up my hard drive that I've got here. Plug it in downstairs so I've got additional games when I'm docked downstairs. So I can have, like, the stuff I want for portable portability, I'll keep there. But if I've got, like, some extra games in my library, just put them on the hard drive. And as soon as I dock it, oh, look, more games are ready for me to play. But it would literally be, like, the games that I'm limiting to when I'm downstairs or upstairs, though. But it's a great idea. And the fact that it is basically just a PC. The, the customizability and making stuff work the way you want it. Is just perfect. Well if it doesn't remove data then looks like I'm installing SteamOS to my PC. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie though. Right. I'm going to be totally honest. Windows needs to up their game. Because I have... I've bricked one computer because I couldn't install Windows properly. Um, the Windows installation process, right, is very, very scary. Linux, on the other hand, right, recovery image on a disk drive. You need a working PC first to do it. Fair enough, that's reasonable. Plug that into Steam Deck. Like, if I swapped out the SSD of the Steam Deck, so I lost the operating system. Makes sense. I obviously did my research beforehand. So I swapped out to a 256 uh, model from the 64 gigs. That is mental. <laughs> Shut down and wait 40 days. I'll, I'll be honest. Since having this PC, I haven't had long Windows updates. Any update I've ever done has never lasted more than a minute. Um, but I don't know whether that's... I, I don't know why. But my old laptop was fucking ridiculous. It was like 20, 30, 40 minutes to update. Yeah, I will do. You're gonna fucking flip out and be like, why the fuck have you got that much in your PC? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even then though, hard drive versus SSD, I'm running a slower SSD than what my old laptop was. The SSD in this isn't a um, high-speed NVMe like I had in my old laptop. So... Again, I'm very confused why that happens.
Though to be fair, this this computer, the, the Windows loads up as quick as it did on my old laptop. It loads up in about ten seconds. It's nothing ridiculous, but whenever I'm like video editing, yeah, fragmentation does kill hard drives. Yeah, that's a fair shout. One, the thing is, right? My PC has uh, one, two, three, four, five drives. So I have um, two hard drives. One is used for files, um, applications and stuff like that. One is my boot drive. That's the SSD. Um, that's just a SATA SSD, nothing fancy. But that is used for um, Windows only. And if there's applications that will refuse to install on my D drive, that will go on the boot drive as well. Um, I prefer installing stuff on the external drives just because I like to keep Windows as free as possible. I've even moved my downloads folder. So my downloads don't go on my boot drive, they go on my D drive now. Um, that was a very important part that I wanted to do. Yeah, I've, I've got to wait till I finish this race because I can't check while I'm racing. Um, I've then got another drive called the G drive. That is for games and archives. This is literally called games and archives. Just clean your downloads. <laughs> nah. Because I, I like having like all my installers and stuff there. It, it's hard for me to explain it. Like stuff that's important will go in their respective folders no matter what. But stuff that I can't be asked for but I might need in the future like... Game mods and stuff like that. I, I really can't be asked Finding folders and putting them in there. I'm just like, right, I've downloaded it before. It's there. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, my games and archives is 8 terabytes. So I've got 4 terabytes assigned for, like, games and stuff. But they're not two separate drives. So, but... Mentally, I allow myself about four terabytes and four terabytes for video recording. Um, just to make space, you know. Um, if I need to download a game that's bigger, it can go whatnot. I've then got the H drive. I almost just fucking... Oh, that was close. I've got my H drive, which is the high-speed drive. It's basically an NVMe SSD, but I bought a cheaper one deliberately. Um, it's a crucial one terabyte SSD, cost me about 70 quid. It's got 3,000 megabytes a second read speed. I think the write's a little slower. Um, but the sole purpose I need that is just so that I can load all of the videos that I record. So I transfer them from the hard drive to the SSD, which is faster... But also, because I'm transferring only the stuff that I want, it also means that the endurance will last a little bit longer as well. Because um, the amount of clips that I end up downloading, deleting, and all that, I didn't want to save it straight to an SSD. Something that is prone to wearing down quicker than a hard drive. So, I've got that. And then I've got my Google Drive, which is classed as a drive on my PC as well. I got the Metasploit reverse TCP shell already connected and he doesn't even know. Nice. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Alright. We are done with this race. I think we got one more. Oh, wait, no, this was the last one, wasn't it? I think it was the last one. Nice. I'll take my rewards and then we'll get another car. Be gone in a. <laughs> this is such a tune. I love it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.